Good day. Welcome back to my neck of the woods. My name is Dika, where I share my experience, my knowledge, hoping to lessen your learning curve. So today I'm going to talk about scent control and if, if you need a scent control regime or routine. The short answer is absolutely. You absolutely need it. And it's a, it's a staple um, as, part, as part as like a hunting routine that you have. Before I get started, please sub my channel, like my videos, and make some comments. You know I love the comments. So anyway, um, scent regime. Uh, you can use whatever product you hold confidence in. I use Dead Down Wind. Um, sometimes I use um, another one called Scent Blocker. But for the most part, this is the one that I use. Um, and I use it in the field, and I use it at home, and I use it in my vehicle. So I'm just going to go through exactly what I use scent control for and then how it helps us in, in hunting situations, all right? Hopefully you can take at least a little bit of this and maybe add it to the repertoire that you're already doing or maybe you already do the same thing that I do. A lot of us do a lot of the same things. So whatever vehicle you're using for hunting, that's where it starts, wherever you go to and from. So I have my truck and my dog is in my truck and you know my wife is in my truck and other smells are in my truck throughout the year, but not during hunting season. During hunting season, I take everything out of my truck and I clean it thoroughly and I vacuum it and try to get all the dog hair out of it and things like that. And then I will spray it down thoroughly with something like this and then I will take something similar to the backdrop that I have here, some sort of material that I'll wash in um, scent-free detergent and then I will lay that in the back of my truck. Because the majority of the back of my truck is where the back seat is where most of my changing has to happen and all my clothes and my bow and everything else, that's where it stays for the most part. It doesn't usually go into the front. But I keep the front clean and sort of scent free as well. So, got an itch. So I will start with that. And then I will, before every hunt, and sometimes the night before, sometimes I'll put stuff in my truck, I'll spray it and then I'll spray it again when I before I get into the truck. All right, so as far as your regime, you do not want to have any of your clothing on when you get to, for your drive there. Now, I've sometimes I will wear my hunting pants. There's, there's I use um, scent lock in conjunction with this, and I find that it works very, very well. Scent lock has quality clothing, quality, quality clothing at a good price. And the scent lock part is just a bonus. And I, I have many videos about scent lock. I, I like scent lock a lot, um, but you can make your own decisions on that. So you, you want to bring all your clothing to the site and you want to change into them there, preferably outside. If it's too cold, then you change inside your truck and do what you have to do. But you want to, the majority of your clothing you want to be changing into there as well as walking into your stand, you want to be, you want to wear just the amount that you need to get into your stand. If, you, if, it's, if you're gonna sweat on the way in there, then you need to carry your jacket on the way in, especially if it's cold. Sometimes we sweat on the way in. You don't wanna wear, like when it's cold outside, you don't wanna wear that big bulky jacket or whatever 10 layers you have on, and then you wanna bring it, sometimes you bring a backpack, and then, or you just, you know, put it over your bow or over your shoulder, and then you, you put it on when you get to your stand so you're not covered in sweat. As you see, I'm starting kind of going backwards. I'm, I'm starting with what happens at the site of hunting and before and before and so on back that way. All right, so now that you've done that, as far as your my regime in the morning or in the afternoon, in the afternoon, so um, for most of hunting season, I do not use colognes or beard oils or um, soaps and things like that for the most part, um, unless I'm really drying out, which because sometimes these products, they really dry you out, um, I'll use some soap then. But for the most part, I, I try to steer, steer clear of it uh, altogether. So when I say, say I'm going to hunt in the morning, right? So when I get up in the morning, I get up and I account for the time that I need to prepare it usually takes about a half hour so I will um, usually my truck has already has my uh, hard tote with a seal on it with my uh, clothing inside of that that's usually already in my truck and it has been sprayed down when I get up in the morning 
I go and I hop in the shower and then I clean myself with uh, soap. But I use, uh, a lot of people use like a body soap. I'd like the bar soap because I really feel like I can lather up and I can really put my beard and all over my face and obviously any armpits and groin and the stinky areas that we have. So I do that thoroughly. I, in fact, I wash myself better with hunting soap than I do like when I'm normally in the shower. When I'm normally in the shower, like sometimes I'll just kind of do my chest and, you know, the downstairs area, but I never do like my legs and feet and stuff like that, you know. When I'm getting up for hunting, I do that. I scrub the bottoms of my feet. I take everything, I lather it up, get all over, and then I rinse, and then I get out of the shower, and then the towel that I dry off with has been washed in scent-free detergent. There's no use grabbing a regular towel that has been washed with all your perfumey stuff that you're just going in reverse. That's, I think that's a key step right there. And a lot of, sometimes I will take the towel and it doesn't even hang, unless you have a designated bathroom that you can wash in, which I do now. But before I would actually keep the towel in a plastic bag. So it doesn't pick up any odors throughout my house or whatnot. So I would grab my towel, go up to my bathroom or wherever the bathroom is, unzip that after I get out of the shower and then dry myself off with that. Then I will put on clothing that has been washed in scent-free detergent. And then I will find my way to my truck and find my way to my hunting place. And then I will change there into my other clothing. It seems like a lot, but it, it really, really helps. So. What, what does the scent control regime? Ultimately, we should all be following the wind. We should be trying to gauge the wind, uh, where which direction we think that the deer are coming from. But not all of us have that ability. And not uh, what I mean is not uh, we're all at different learning stages in hunting. That's what I meant. I didn't mean that we don't have the ability. Everyone has the ability. But even when I first started out, I didn't understand the wind or how the wind worked or how thermals worked. And now I do. And I feel like I can sort of pass it on to someone else. <clears throat> I want to do a video on thermals and I want to do a video on how to read the wind. But ultimately, this scent control is for when the wind isn't working in our favor. So the wind changes. If we have good scent control, sometimes those deer will think that we're just further away than we are. And that's what scent control is for. Scent control is not to fool the deer. It's not to, you know, outsmart a whitetail's nose. You can't, you can't do it. Some people believe that you can with scent lock. And I'm one of those people. But you have to really cover every inch of your body with scent lock. And for a lot of times, I don't do that. I, I, I'll cover my face and I've got a hood, but like my eyes and my hands are open too a lot of the times. And even... Sometimes, like even in my boots and stuff like that, some, sometimes I get a little smell of boots and whatnot like that. So if that's another thing. So if your boots stink, right, you need to buy yourself or get yourself a boot warmer. And uh, that will get rid of any odors inside your boots. We wear our boots often. Sometimes we wear them when we're tracking and what. So you want to get something that keeps the scent out of your boots. This alone it works, but it, do, it doesn't work long term. So you want to get yourself a boot dryer, put it on the boot dryer for a couple hours. And just it doesn't have to be on high heat. Just the, 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 the amount of heat that the boot dryer produce, produces gets rid of the bacteria that's causing the odors inside of your boots. So that is a scent control regime. That's what I do. So I get up in the morning, wash myself, and I make it to my truck. And I'm, I'm kind of in regular clothes. And it's very minimal too. I don't I like I'm wearing jeans or something like that. Sometimes it's just sweatpants or something. Then I get to my site, then I change out of them and then change into my hunting clothes outside of my car. If it could be on the side of the road or in a parking lot or wherever, you know, hunters around the uh, world are getting naked next to their trucks before they go into the woods. Then I uh, make it to my make it to my stand. And on your way to the stand, you want to. And this is this is also part of scent control. You want to have multiple ways to your stand or to where you where you plan on hunting. Unless you're just um, spot and stock, then try to keep the wind in your face the whole time. 
but you want different ways for different winds. Sometimes a stand is good during a one wind, but you can't get there. So you have to make a, you have to reroute this. This is something you have to think about before, you know, for, for scent control purposes. That's really all I have for you. Hopefully that's helpful to you. And hopefully you can learn something and maybe take a little bit of what I do and add it to yours. And um, if you have anything that you do that I didn't mention, please put it in the comments and then I can maybe um, add that to mine because uh, I don't know everything, you know. I, I just know what I know and what I've learned over the years and what works for me. But uh, I'd, I'd love to add more to it if, um, if, it needs, if it needs it, all right? That's all I got for you. Sub the channel. I'll talk to you guys later. Be well.